Alright, this is the old lead, lead screw I had in the last video. Unfortunately it's too short. This lead screw in the, that's already on is a bit too long. However, you can always cut the sum off, but you can't put it back on. So, for now I'm just going to live with some sticking out the end. I had picked up some 12mm shaft collars to go over these, you know, to hold them securely so that it doesn't move sideways. However, the inner diameter of these shaft collars is 12.01mm. Nice and, nice and precise. This 12mm tubing on the other hand is about 12.18mm. It doesn't sound like much, but it means that the shaft collars don't fit on this jolly tubing. Plan B. Instead of these long ones sticking out with the shaft collars on either side, I've cut new ones. Just the right size there. And these nuts select as shaft collars to stop them going sideways. That coupling nut is there for when I bore the headstock, which is quite a ways in the future. However, if I put it on now, and I don't have to disassemble this thing later and put it back on anyway. Right, that pair is now on. One set of my marks. So these nuts will be acting as the shaft collars effectively. When I finalise these positions, I'll get a pair of spanners and tighten these nuts up against each other. I need it a little bit loose, but not so much that things turn to custard. Put this back on. Yeah. There's no... There isn't a great deal of lateral movement, so that's good, and it turns freely. I have now printed the threads in this half nut. They weren't M10 threads before. They were some weird Yankee thread. But now this is the right thread. So it'll be like that with the handle on the other side of the apron. So here we have our pattern. Unfortunately, you see that undercut there? That's not going to um, mould in the sand properly. So, I need to get out the wood filler. This is the apron that hangs under here. And this is where I've marked out where we're going to drill the hole for the um, thing for the half nut to go through. Alright, you probably work this out for yourself, but we're going to 
have a crack at casting these. Weather's a bit crap, but hopefully it holds out. If I was doing this true to the book, I would have a core going through there. However, I found that unlike what the book claims, it's a bit of a pig to get out, so I'm not going to bother. The gate doesn't hugely matter, but this I want as close to 90 degrees as I can get away with. Airplane noise is recorded with me in the shed with only the door open and it's still that loud. was the easy part. This will be the tricky one to get out. Good, it came out good. Right. This is how the half nut has come out. I'm going to have to cut and file to get that threaded rod out of there, and isn't that going to be fun? And this will be the handle, so just have to. Um, zip this off, clean it up on the detail sander so I can get into the corner there, take care of that flashing, then drill a hole through here so it can mount on to the other end of the threaded rod, so um, 10mm shaft. Alright, start working on these, start by Cutting the parts off the sprue with the bandsaw. Right, that's the parts off. Clean them up on the um, big sander first, I think. So this is what the handle looks like now. And this is the half nut. 
just need to cut through there and somehow get the threaded rod out of there. Ah, fits. Now for the part that is going to suck. Half a split nut. Just got to get that other side out now. Oh, what an absolute mission to get the to get that threaded rod out. For Paul and everyone else making one of these, hot tip: use a Dremel. Want use the Dremel to undercut or cut the undercut there. Focus to cut the undercut there and to trim up the top and once you've cut through the um, support stuff with the Dremel and go to town with a great big hammer and some kind of pointy thing. The thread's got a bit chewed up from all that. Okay the shaft got chewed up from all that stuff in the vice. That's the lead screw. Still have to put a detent on to the a detent onto the um, half nut, but I now have a working half nut. And right this moment I'm not sure about the half same part. Don't think I have any. There. Yeah. 